Welcome back, everybody, to the BD1P Binding of Isaac modded series. That is right, it is no longer just the Fiend Folio series, although Fiend Folio is still a part of this mod pack. But today is going to be, for the first time in a long time, an Andromeda run for win number two and episode number three. 326. Your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below. What is your favorite trailer for any video game ever? Game, please don't crash on me. There we go. Seed, by the way, is going to be 7DK7HN2C. So just to give a quick like little preface here, uh, I haven't added like an absolute like shit ton of mods. I've added maybe, I would say 15 uh, over what we already had running for Fiend Folio. It is mostly just like character mods, and there are a couple of item packs in there, but I didn't add back any big mods like Ipecac or Deliverance or, uh, ooh, get me out of here, or anything of that nature. Hey, that's not a bad item at all. We get a couple of extra tiers coming out here uh, occasionally. There we go. See, look at that. Temperance card and a Devil card. Um, I just mainly added back, again, like characters and a couple of the more high-quality, smaller, uh, just item packs, like the Sewage Collection or uh, the Reflected Collection, I think is what it's called, or the Curse Collection, just kind of like the item packs there. I don't want to have, you know, too much going on at once. I don't want to have my game running at one frame a second. Uh, so this it was a nice compromise to just have the, uh, the item packs and things of that nature back. But I'm excited. Hopefully the... the uh, Quality of modded items. There we go. A little bit of pickups alive action going on there, too Hopefully the quality of the modded items and stuff uh, help balance out the early game for fiend folio as we can already see uh, Oficus whatever this item is called for a first floor item is gonna do us pretty well in combative encounters So I'm feeling pretty good about that if you want a full mod list as always it is down below Ooh, a library too in the description I have a steam collection for every mod that I am currently using besides a couple of the backdrop ones that I have custom made for me uh, by somebody in Discord. So again, thank you to Kitsune for the custom backgrounds. I will reinstall that shortly. I just don't want to have, again, too much lag going on in the game, but uh, it is always a big help. The Fiend Folio summons a Fiend Folio helper to assist you in the room or the Book of Cosmos. We've had the Book of Cosmos quite a bit. Why don't we try and go for the Fiend Folio? It's the same kind of charge there, so not a big uh, what-if situation. Oh, I hate this worm. I really hate this worm. Oh, okay, a little bit close there, but I wanted to talk about today, uh, as, as most of you are probably aware from Discord, is the uh, new Nintendo Direct. I'm a big Nintendo fan, you could say. Uh, the only console I own is a Switch. I don't have like a PS4 or an Xbox or anything like that. Uh, because usually Xbox and PS4 games eventually make their way to PC, and if they don't, I can use, just find like an emulator for that. You think it's, it's not worth having a PC and a PS4 and an Xbox and all that kind of stuff. I much prefer the PC. Ooh, it wasn't there. Uh, we can try our last resort like right here. Uh, but Nintendo games tend to usually, oh my god, uh, not make their way to PC without an emulator. And a lot of the times, like, the emulation for Nintendo games is not, like, top-notch. There's tons of issues, controller bindings, graphical things, um, hardware, it's, it's just, it's a bit of a, a, a an issue. And, and a lot of the higher-end, like, uh, Switch emulators are very intensive on your computer. We'll summon- oh my god, what a crazy animation. Oh, it's Tech Worm Man. And you're here the entire room, huh? Or just for a couple of attacks, I'm not sure. You're, you're doing God's work right now, brother, though. I can't be- oh, you're gone now. Okay, you know what, dude, that's fine. It was actually quite a lot of damage for uh, a first floor. But I like Nintendo because- well, I don't like them. They're exclusive. It's hard to play their games on PC, so I kind of have to get a console. And if I'm already buying the Switch, what is this? Damage and range? Sure. If I'm already buying the Switch, why not buy the games that go along with it whenever those drop? It just makes more sense, I think, from a consumer standpoint, even if I'm not a huge fan of that, like, whole business model going on. Actually, I should go back to the library and just black rune this. Little bit of extra damage again? Okay, I don't hate that at all. Uh, we'll take Devil Card and we will move on down. Uh, but Nintendo has these, like, gaming showcases they'll do. Uh, where they showcase their big titles and a couple of the new stuff coming to Switch. Uh, it's it's like a mini E3. Oh my god, already got the Planetarium, huh? It's like a mini E3 for Nintendo. And yesterday's Direct 
Uh, it had some big names on it. It had Kirby, it had Zelda, it had Mario Kart. But I gotta say, the Direct was complete shit. It was bad. It was really bad. Uh, I Nintendo is living proof of the concept that as long as you've been around for long enough and made a couple of good games, you can really say fuck all to your marketing and just put out like a 10 second clip and it generates just so much hype. And that's great for them. I'm not going to say it's a terrible thing. But Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is the single best selling game on the Switch uh, for even the Wii U, I think, as well, since 2014. Okay. Ice it up in here. Uh, that is Bookworm. Bookworm or HP? I guess we'll go Bookworm, and then we'll take this back for us. And it's still, like, I would have rather had almost anything else. We get a cool Bone Wisp, though. That's not too bad, either. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is their biggest game, like, for a, a long, long time. And, uh, for the direct announcement, they decided to show off uh, one of the booster, two of the booster course tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, part of its DLC. I want to put this in perspective for you. Each pack, each like DLC from Mario Kart 8, it gets um, eight tracks, right? It gets it gets two full cups of tracks, and there's going to be, I think it was like it's eight waves of DLC here, um, and they decided to show off one fourth, so two tracks of the DLC of the eight DLC packs. They showed off one 25% of what, like 12.5% of the game. When, like, why are they being sneaky about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It's just previous tracks from older games. Not to mention one of the tracks they showed off was from the mobile Mario Kart game, which I don't think anybody is like a huge diehard fan of. It just felt weird. They're being coy with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Your, your best-selling game, you're going to be secretive about that? How does that make any sense? And besides that, like, they're releasing a Kirby game. But it's not a new game. It's a remake of an older Kirby game from the Wii. And the only thing they're saying they're adding at the current moment is one, oh my god, one singular new power. One power. One power. Uh, this is kind of like the shit stone, though. I still like it, but it's not as good as it could have been. One new power and a couple new mini games. Um, sure, I'll do it. Well, I, I wanted piano tears, though. Very sad. I just got a like one new power and a couple new mini games, and they're charging more for the game on the Switch than they did for the original pricing on the Wii. Sure, it's getting a graphical overhaul. Sure, it's getting... Ew, spicy. We could actually use the keys, honestly. Uh, sure. I'll take I'll take a spicy key, and we'll do this. Why not? Wow, we missed. All right, cool, epic. I can bomb these for a potential magic mush. You're going to charge more for the a, a remake of a game that is not getting almost any new content, hey, added to it. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Because it is my favorite Kirby game. It's Return to Dreamland for the Wii. It is my all-time favorite Kirby game. But it's getting the, like, the cash grab treatment. And they really haven't remade Kirby games before. This is like a, this is new territory for the franchise. Kind of. You can count like uh, Nightmare in Dreamland or Kirby's Adventure to be like remakes. But uh, that was decade like a decade ago, I think, at this point. Maybe even two decades ago. So does that really count? Does that, like, count for... I don't think it does count for a remake. What bothers me is that this is a game that many consider to be the point where Kirby kind of returned to its roots. It came back to the, um, the 2D platformer era and it, with a bunch of new powers and a nice, cute story. It, it was a return to form for the franchise. You'd think that for a remake of the game, they would try to change it up a little bit and maybe make it more than just a remake. Maybe give it a, a different twist or, you know, adding a new, like, even like a new boss rush mode. They already have the arena in the game, but like, maybe adding a new, holy shit. I don't want Mega Mush, that, that's too cheap. We, we just started our new modded series back. I want to take not that item right now, thank you very much. Uh, but, like, adding a new challenge mode. 
adding new a new collectible type. Uh, new characters, new even more than just like one new power. As the Kirby fan, and I'm a, I'm a huge Kirby fan by the way. If you can't tell, I played through every single Kirby game on stream in like the span of a month for a marathon. The videos are all on the main channel if you want to watch those stream highlights there. But I am a huge Kirby fan, and throughout the Kirby's history, there have been hundreds of different powers. There's been a circus power, a painter power, and Return to Dreamland has a lot of new cool powers, but. It, but from that game coming out and the franchise evolving to getting new ones like Spider and stuff like that, you could totally add the new powers in. That would have made me so happy. But just this like adding one new power, and to be fair, it is a brand new power to the franchise called Mecha. Uh, I believe it's kind of like a... I will gravity shift, sure, why not? Hey, it doesn't do anything for us. It's a small speed upgrade, I guess. But to be fair, it's a brand new power, kind of taking inspiration from a Kirby Planet Robobot called Mecha, which is awesome, but you have so much to pull from as, as a series, as a franchise. You have so much lore and so much to pull from power-wise. I don't have anything I can give you. I don't think so. Uh, we'll take more keys, please. And you're going to choose to add none of that and just create one new one and call it a day? I, I don't think it would really be that hard to add more new powers to the game. Even, I would prefer if they added a bunch of powers that were present in um, some of the newer ones, like Star Allies or even uh, Forgotten Lands. I gotta sneeze in a minute here. Oh no, it's gonna, it's gonna be real loud, I'm sorry, chat. But like, I can maybe hold it in. Focus, rub your nose, just breathe in deep. Actually, we're fine, look at that. I'm a, I'm a master of my own body right there. But you, you could add Circus, you could add Spider, you could add, you know, Staff, you could add all these powers that have been in the game uh, since 2018. But instead you're going to just opt to do... Oh no! I did it. That's the same mistake I made like two runs ago as well. Alright, you know what? That's fine though. Uh, we will just keep on going down here. We'll go to the mines. We don't go mines too often uh, as uh, on, on the streak. So why not go to the mines floor? I don't have any bombs for you, I'm sorry, sir. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels lazy. And Nintendo remakes have always been pretty lazy. No one's gonna fault me for saying that. Uh, 3D All-Stars, the Mario 3D, like, pack. It pretty much came packaged with nothing new but a couple of soundtracks and was an exclusively timed releases. Nintendo has been using remakes to get money. Which, again, it's their company and it makes them a lot of money. If it allows them to fund bigger games in the future, hey, you know what? I'm all for that. But you could still put a little bit more heart and soul into these games that were created with a lot of heart and soul instead of just like, hey, here's a, here's a texture pack and uh, one new power that I'm sure any kind of modder could make within like, I don't know, a day. It just, it just, it makes me mad. As someone who's a huge, huge fan of Kirby, it upsets me a little bit. Uh, and I wish they would just put a little bit more time into that kind of stuff. Because you could totally like... There was a new system introduced in the 3D Kirby game where you could upgrade powers through, like, tiers. If you took the, you know, four, like, core Kirby powers, Fire, Beam, Sword, and, um... Uh, what's the other, like, fourth one? Fire, Beam, Sword... I guess Rock would be kind of, like, the fourth main power in my eyes. Uh, and you give all of those... Oh, no, ha it's Hammer, sorry. Uh, if you gave those four, like, you could upgrade those like you couldn't in Forgotten Lands. That would be enough of a change for me to be like, you know what? That's a really cool idea to kind of bring Return to Dreamland into a new generation of Kirby fans. It would help bridge the gap quite a bit. Uh, but again, I think the, the optimal solution here is just adding, making it like, not an ultimate collection, but taking like the top two most popular or liked powers in the Star Allies and the other games and adding like five or six of those to the new game. Give yourselves new ways to traverse the levels. Even, like, I would say... How did I not get hit there? What? I would say, like, if you really want to make the game worth your time, um, there is a mode in Kirby Returns to Dreamland where you go back through the game. It's called EX mode. It's the same exact game, but you have harder enemies, more boss patterns, and your health is capped at half of what it usually is. Um, it's like it's like the the, like, you know, super completionist mode. I think if you augmented that, um, and you allowed new powers to be in that mode, and then you also, like, do what Ocarina of Time did for, like, the Master Mode and remade... Oh, my lord. We're gonna have a tight run here. Uh, you also remade... Oh, that would have been 2020 as well. 
I mean, even still, a 10 damage Brim Beam is uh, nothing to sneeze at. What is this? Golem's Rock spawns a Rock Trinket. You know what, dude? Oh, we get the brick? Hell yeah, brother. I'm bricked up right now. Uh, but if you like re decided to, hey, here's the EX mode from Kirby's Return to Dreamland. We're going to make the levels have different layouts now. We're going to give it the, the Ocarina of Time, you know, treatment. And we're going to make all these levels, like, different and more precarious. That it would make it, like, really worth to pick up again. I'm still going to buy the game. After all this complaining I'm, I'm putting out right now, I'm obviously going to still end up buying the game, right? Because it's, it's my favorite Kirby game. It's in my top, you know, 5, 10 games of all time. I, I wouldn't not buy this. I got to be really careful here. This, this boss fight uh, can be a bit touchy for anti-grav. Uh, brimstone for sure. Okay, watch out for the shadows. Wonderful. That was a, that was a well handled fight for sure. Uh, we'll just take the raw upgrade right here, and then I think we'll just uh, keep on moving down. Oh, this mod can spawn fiend folio bosses as well. That's kind of insane. I wouldn't have guessed that the the better challenge rooms mod could spawn uh, modded bosses, but hey, here we are. Hey, a tinted stony too. Well, 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 we're gonna get a soul heart here, hopefully. Hey, and a key? Uh, I don't know where the syringe just went. It's gone for good. I don't really want to have a day retro. We still got glass eye out of this, which is fine. Uh, I got no rock trinket there. I think it, it, it alternates between grinding a trinket and spawning a trinket, so that's fine. But again, I'm still gonna buy the game. I'm still gonna choose to buy the new Kirby, even though I'm complaining about it so much, because, hey, you know what? It would be nice to see the game with a graphical overhaul. I, of course, I could emulate the game, just turn up, like, the, the emulator settings, but it's not the same, you know? Like, an official thing, it does feel nice, but I just really wish there was something... Uh, point f 0.8 flat... We're too early to take that, I think. In my eyes, like, taking that is just gonna, like stunt our run's growth so i'm gonna skip this and just keep more options it's a it's a tempting choice for sure uh to is that a t it's a tinted rock i think up there it was and a crawl space wow pot of greed oh boy uh tower and the tower why don't we just spawn this right here and then pop this down and uh hide uh, Tinty Rock up here as well, very nice. Getting us, hopefully, two Spirit Hearts and no damage. Get Bent Sun. Okay, HP's looking good, damage looking good, tier 8 looking good. This run is looking, oh my god, and it only seems to get better. This is one of my uh, new favorite Andromeda runs. Uh, you, you. I, I can't move. You, I, you. I couldn't move there, I was just stuck. I'm gonna roll uh, Golem's Rock right away into Imp Soda. It's critical uh, hit, yes, please, with a, a, a tick-based firing rate based off of Brimstone. The crit chance should be happening quite often there. Uh, but I guess if we can talk about a more positive note, uh, the new Zelda game, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, got a release date finally after, like, uh, what, three years since E3 2019? Yeah, over three years of the game being announced, uh, we finally got a title, I'm stupid. Uh, a title and a release date, which is super, super cool. I am a huge Breath of the Wild fan. I think it is the most fun Zelda game. Not my absolute favorite. That, that goes to Majora's Mask. It's going to be the number one Zelda game forever. I love Majora's Mask a ton. But uh, I, I think Breath of the Wild is the most replayable and, in my eyes, the most fun. I do like Majora's Mask's aesthetic more. And from what I've seen of the game and what like a lot of the uh, press releases have said and the company themselves is that the feel of this new one is a lot more akin to Majora's Mask and the darker entries in the series, like Twilight Princess, than um, than other games in the series. So it could end up being my new favorite. It could end up being like the you know magnum opus of Zelda games, which I would be super ecstatic to see. And I will be obviously when these games launch next year, uh, streaming them live over at Twitch.tv/BD1P. Shameless plug off the bat because I like streaming good games, and those are going to be, regardless of, uh, you know, like, if they're shameless remakes or not, they're still going to be fun games, uh, and I will play both of them, and obviously, I'm a little bit more excited, to be real with you, 
for the new Zelda. As somebody who did play Bot W for over like a thousand hours, uh, I'm I'm pretty stoked <laughs> for the new Zelda game, and I. I have been waiting for either a new like mainline Zelda or another like uh, mainline Mario game for ages and ages and you know to be fair like Bowser's Fury the DLC for 3D World that came out with the release of the Switch version didn't really tickle my fancy I, I never actually got to the new mode because I was like oh, I don't want to play through the entire 3D World again just to get to it so I should maybe sit down and play that through. I cannot hit you, dog. I am... Finally, Jesus. Uh, I, I should sit down and play through Bowser's Fury. It just... It didn't feel like it was going to scratch the itch that, like, Mario Odyssey did for me when that came out. Uh, Black Lantern. We'll take that, sure. Um, and we'll take Dreamcatcher as well. It's going to be more... We're going to get a lot of HP now. Why don't we... Go fight. I oh, haven't seen our item room yet. Hold on. Don't don't be making big mis. Oh my god, another planetarium. Thank God we came back for this thing, right? Would not have known what I was missing out on. Uh, poison tears is quite good. Yeah, sure. And you have Damios. What does this do? It's a familiar that fires hooks that. Le oh, I know what you are. I don't really like you. As bad as that sounds, I am coming back for Terra. Give me a, a yes, okay. That's Terra for our Brimstone. We can reroll the other item, and uh, hopefully things turn out to be even more in our favor. Thank you for that. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll buy you out of shop here, brother. Serious. One coin bomb key, and okay. Sure. Now we're spowed as well. Look at that. Really, this is a really solid run for us. I'll even take two keys right here. We got a D6 charge off of Saris right there as well. Dude, can you even... Can you make up a better run than this one right now? I mean, honestly, like, I this is a 15 damage brimstone run with not awful tier rate. Uh, decent tier effects through poison and spode and uh, black lantern giving us... A bunch of different uh, curses and beneficiaries on the future floors, as well as fucking Terra for a tier like damage multiplier. I mean, this is just a solid, and it makes me like realize why I love modded Isaac so much is that I can have the fun difficulty of Fiend Folio uh, and be balanced out, and like, I guess I can put more thought process into the strategy behind stuff like Andromeda's Gravity Shift. Uh, and combining all of this stuff together with Fiend Folio's enemies and, and beautiful room design, and I, I can feel great. Boss design, we'll talk about that when we get there, but so far I'm having a, a blast back in the uh, the modded series here. But I also want to start doing... Um, ooh, uh, I'll hold off on you for a second. When dead respawn is Fiend. Can't argue with that, man. Sure, dude. Uh, what do we got down here again? We'll go for Lucky Coin. Well, because I know item rooms do scale with luck uh, with one of the mods that I have turned on. And we can move on down. But uh, there are a couple new characters I want to be playing as in a second here. I've, I skipped the thing. Cool. Once uh, we're done with this run, I do have... I think it's two. No, because it's four because there's tainted variants as well. Uh, I have four new modded characters to play as. And... We also have a new game mode to try out. So th this next week is going to be like... Uh, it's almost like Fiend Folio all over again. Where it's just going to be us playing through a bunch of the uh, new stuff that's been added uh, through the weeks where I was just playing Fiend Folio and Fiend Folio only. So again, like I'm, I'm pretty stoked to not just be tied down to uh, completing Fiend Folio all the way through. Eventually, through this modded series, I'm sure we'll randomize, like, Tainted Fiend or Golem and get those uh, completion marks done, but I'm not going to stress it too much. Hey. I'm not going to stress it too much. I, I want to take my time and still enjoy the game that I'm playing. Uh, and along with that, too, like, it's nice to have these better runs that are, like, pretty overpowered, to be honest with you, so I can sit back and focus on bantering. 
uh, and have the experience be a bit more enjoyable for me. Because I'm working on a bunch of, like, main channel stuff as well. And, uh, you know, when I get stressed over trying to record Isaac every day, then the main channel videos take longer to get done, etc., etc. So, what do we got in here? Hey, you know, damage doesn't sound too bad. If we die, we become a fiend which, with, with brimstone, so I'm not too mad about that. A tool? Oh, because we have a... Uh, what's this called? Eve's Mascara. But the main channel stuff's been popping off. Thank you guys for the... Uh, my first 100k video in a couple months, I think, uh, the LEGO Batman 3, like, sequence break video. It was a really fun one to research and make, and there's plenty more like that coming out in the future here. I do want to go to my shop, because we have Steam Sale, uh, D6, and a lot of money to spend. We can buy two... Oh my god! That was like getting the... That was just getting the quarter. We did lose a little bit of money there, but <laughs> that's fine, man. That is 100% fine. Uh, but I'm working on, like, another Iceberg video, which uh, should drop this Saturday. This is coming out on, like, I think it's, like, a Thursday. But uh, this Saturday, if you missed the BD1P, uh, you know, Binding of Isaac Iceberg, I got one that'll satiate you coming out on Saturday. I, it's longer. It's twice as long as the uh the binding of isaac iceberg video and i believe it's actually going to be my longest video essay um ever it might clock in to be a little bit over an hour long and it's gonna be all edited down you know with you know all that kind of stuff but i'm i'm excited for for all of this oh my god we got a, a freaking gigabomb Nah, I, I kind of, like, really enjoy having poison tiers, and this is our last floor for shops anyways, so, like, is there really a point in doing that? I don't think so. Uh, if we get another charge off here through a charge key or just, like, a battery in the shop, I'll go back and I'll take the more options thing, because it'll just give us more damage as opposed to potentially useless HP going forward here. So, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge... Uh, when we come to it. Land, thank you. Room is not over? Oh, you're alive still. Back up. Get crushed, son. One more room to our shop. We can get... Oh, battery? Oh, is that going to charge us? A little bit it did. A very, very tiny amount, but it gave us two charges there. That is guaranteed to give us one more reroll. Do you want to save that for your boss fight? Or do you want to, uh, god damn it, uh, oh my god, do you want to use that directly on your tainted treasure room? <sighs> this is quite good. Because what we can do... is cycle through a bunch of this stuff. Oh, my, we're getting... Wait, we're, we're getting a small little game break here. Did, did, is this what Neon Tuber got a couple days ago in his run? I didn't watch that one, but I saw a bunch of shopkeepers on the ground. Okay. So one more charge or one more room of this gives us a reroll. One, two, three... Three, one, two, three, four, five. We aren't gonna get it. We actually, we could. If we have combat in here, which we don't, sadly. If we would have had combat in there, we could have potentially gotten another thing um, for the shop whistle, but that is not going to happen. Why don't we go back here and get one last D6 charge, and we'll go back into that shopkeep room. Uh, we could just, we could just credit card that room, actually. So what do you want, first of all? I don't think I want any of this. I mean, Red Stew actually would be kind of good. Um, death card. Okay, so here's your play. I'm going to credit card this. Uh, we're going to take everything we want, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to go... Nice. We're getting a lot of stuff on the ground right now. This is, this is a very, very, very good room for us. Uh, Emperor card we can take for the future. Okay. Red Stew. 
Reroll. Member card. Humbling bundle. Uh, yeah, what's down on the member card? What are we even doing right now? Oh, it's the Fiend Prank Cookie. Multicolored tiers. Can't turn that down. Let's just go steamroll the rest of our run with red stew, man. Like, it was, we, we, we are in such a, an amazing place right now. Is that going to hit? And she's dead. Okay, uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll go negative, even more damage, why not? And we'll just, uh, bum rush these next couple of floors, saving our Emperor card, of course, for, uh, Shoal. I don't know what Curse of the Swine means, that's alright, we can take that. It sounds like it could be good for us, even though it is a curse, but, uh, it's been really fun to kind of be in a point with just YouTube in general right now, where I'm pretty much all that I'm making is just like passion products. Like I, I haven't made anything that's been solely just for like, I know this will get a ton of views in a long time, which obviously you have to, at some point in your career, you gotta do that. You gotta be getting views to make money. We've chose every wrong direction. I don't know what I expected out of this run. It's, just, it's the BD one P pathing curse, but uh, you gotta occasionally make those sacrifices every once in a while to keep your channel growing. But literally every video I've made in the last like, half a year has just been I want to make this it hasn't been like I feel like I should make this it's been this would be really fun to do and a lot of that has actually paid off quite well and I have to I owe a lot of it to just breaking away from just doing Isaac which has been a godsend I was getting real bored of uh you know hey guys welcome back to the one thing I do with my life which is just uh the binding of Isaac episode 326 now that I have other ways to uh, get outlets for creativity. It's it's really, really has been uh, better than I could have imagined. And it's all thanks to the viewers, viewers like you. Oh, I'm sorry, Lust. Death Cert, watch this. Oh, tinier chest. You're very sad to me. You're very mean to me, too. I'm not going to worry about that. I might just pop my stars card next floor because I'm getting a little sick of my pathing being this bad. A little bit of drifting going on there. I did go into Steam for the third time and try to fix my drifting issue through Steam, but uh, it seems to only get worse the more that I do that, which is not fun. Okay, I want to get a magic mush if we can. <laughs> Please be very nice for today's run. Okay, it's not going to happen. Yeah, we'll take a tears up, though. I think we're, oh, we're not at the cap for uh, uh, Ease Mascara. I didn't know that. I thought we were already past the cap because uh, this item has a very low cap for tears. Did not get the kill. You know, I'm just gonna bomb out of this room. I don't need to stay in here. I have I have freaking pyro, baby. Please kill. It hit nothing. You know what? Bombing again. Maybe I don't have to. Dip. You lived through one of those hits. Oh my lord! What are you? Have I ever seen you before? I don't know what the hell that man was. Another third planetarium. Andromeda is insane. Ugh! The, the, you see how fast I, I... I wasn't touching any button there. And I drifted straight down. That's that's the, the you know, six-year-old Xbox controller curse right there. I might just go and buy a new one. I tried fixing it, but my dead zones on Steam right now are, like, pretty much turned all the way to the edge of the controller, which means that my sends is really bad, and I cannot move the way that I want to a lot of the time. Oh, we got the harder boss champions here going on. Thank you for dying quick. Uh, we'll reroll into Malty Baby, and I'll just probably pop the Emperor card, and, and I don't want to look at another whole floor of how the womb looks. Disgusting. Get me out of here. You're dead. You lived. I could go fight Hush, but... Would that be a cop-out to not go fight Hush? Or I could just go Delirium. But that sounds awful. Which is why I'll be doing it, is the reasoning behind that. You gotta do things for the fans occasionally. And a lot of the fans always get mad at me when I don't rush Delirium. What are these rocks? It's like computer rocks. Okay, I don't know what floor or texture these belong to. Have I, I've been to every floor in the game. Have I not? Uh, through my, my escapades in Fiend Folio? I'll do it. Okay, new void floor. Uh, Curse of the Ghost. Can I walk through walls or walk through doors, maybe? 
That would be pretty epic. Speed the whole floor up here and just go find Delirium right away. I don't need to go find the extra bosses. Like, I have so much power through Red Stew that if I can just find a boss fight, um, along with destroying every enemy that I can here, we would win. A 32 damage Brimstone Beam is nothing to get, you know... Uh, sneezy about, if you will. Can these tears, like, leave my orbit? Thank you. I don't want to get bomb fly like, right next to me. I think we just run through things. We should still be gaining a decent amount of damage. Secret room number two is a greed fight. Who would have guessed? We'll still keep getting a bunch of damage through Saturnus, which will make us, uh, I want to be at, like, I don't know. I want to be at around 30 for fighting Delirium. That's kind of, like, my ideal place to be. Uh, this is not him, but it could be him. So we'll, we'll make precautions. Actually, it could be him. I don't know if the door texture is enabled or not. I don't care. I, I could not care less about distant admiration. It's not him, which is sad, but that's fine. We get straw man, baby! All right, you're, you're staying alive the entire run. Help me out here, brother. I will keep you with me as long as the, the world allows me to. If you get hit... Wait, we're oh, he's at two health? Okay, hold on. You'll be fine. You know what? We don't need to heal. You'll be fine. Have a little faith. Occasionally. You're fine. There we go. See? He's at a... Oh, I did not give him the... I stole the money there. Now I feel kind of bad. Sure. What was this one? Temperance? Okay. Now I feel kind of bad. There we go. Uh, ooh. I'll roll. I'll roll. I'll I'll take a binky. Sure. Now we're at the now we're at the final tier cap for use mascara. This could be delirium. You never know, dude. Are you gonna be him? Hey, a, another giga bomb for us. Okay. It is him. Get get freaking bombs, son. Oh, that damage was very sweet. All right, straw man. I'm not going to try to keep you alive, but if you live through the fight, you can be with me forever. Ouch. Oh, no. One HP is not a good look for you, straw man. You don't look very healthy right now. Tactical? No, the money was right there. I feel so cheap. I feel so bad and so cheap. This one's for you, straw man. This one's for everything you could have done for me before I, I let you perish. That was on me. Oh, Bugs Delirium now? Epic. The Nelphian Folio bosses could be delirious. Get fricked. Oh, right in the brim beam, brother. It's a good uh, word to say, brim beam, brother. When he's in the when he's in the ball, he just gets melted. Nothing can stop me. Always oh, there. Always oh, there. Always oh, there. I think we win this run. Even we were taking a lot of damage trying to keep Strawman alive, but that's the kind of the goal of every run is to keep him alive. There we go. See? Get some of his tears in your own little orbit here. Ouch. Ouchie that hurt. Where you at, Gurglings? There you are. Okay, he's bruised. We're taking double damage right now. No texture for Delirious for you. You're just normal. Okay. You dick. Undodgeable attack. Here we come. Undodgeable? Okay. A little focused right now, sorry. Our HP is not looking very pristine. Although he is pretty close to dead. Good hit right there. Decent, decent, decent. Hello? Just fire into the void. It'll eventually win. 
Just trust me there. Oh. Line of fire. There we go. Well, first run back into the, the mega modded series, giving us a delirium victory with a 30 damage brimstone. Well, 20 by the end. Don't tell anybody I told you that. Uh, was pretty good. If you enjoyed the run of my commentary, a like and a comment goes a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, guys, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.